I will have to speak in English because I understand the translation is not working properly. Uh, so, uh, to be kind to, to our hosts, uh, please bear with me speaking in English. Uh, let me connect our discussion with what is debated today in the UK, Brexit. From my perspective, which is the telecoms industry perspective, the discussion about Brexit is nonsense. It's nonsense. Why is that? In essence, in Britain, Britain has been leading, along with other European countries, in uh, the effort in the last 20 years to build the next generation of the European infrastructure in communications. This has been key in the 90s. We've lost the initiative towards other uh, industrial powers globally uh, in the last 20, 15 years. And now Europe is trying to regain the initiative in building the communications uh, around the planet for the next uh, generation uh, of, uh, in the industry. Uh, and uh, this is based on a strategy to build 5G networks. Uh, the UK has been part of that. And the, the reason why this is shaping as a European strategy is that all networks in Europe are organized uh, to become European entities, not national entities. So a network in the UK is managed as a European network, and a network in Greece uh, similarly. So as we view the future from Greece, uh, Similarly, uh, the future in telecoms belongs to a European future, a, a common strategy to develop uh, the, in the continent the next generation of uh, communication systems. As far as the messages coming out of Greece are, uh, are concerned, the first positive message I can give to this panel and this discussion is that uh, during last year, investment in the sector has increased by 35%. Uh, the investment in uh, telecommunications reached uh, just north of uh, 700 million. And this is a positive message in a, in a market that has shrunk more than 50% in the last 50 years. Prices have dropped more than 30% in all uh, areas of activity. Uh, therefore, we talk about a very competitive business and a business that has survived uh, in terms of uh, having healthy companies that can finance, self-finance, the investment that we need uh, for the next five years. So participating in a discussion which says what is needed for the next five years so that Greece can regain a respectable position in telecommunications. We need to remove certain obstacles, but in essence, we need to change culture. What obstacles do we need to remove? First, we need to understand that investment needs uh, in the country licensing procedures that are simple and effective. And the procedures in Greece today are expensive and ineffective. It costs about 7% of the investment plan just for license fees for uh, telecom infrastructure in the country, which is completely out of line with international practices. It costs about 28 million a year just to pay fees on top of other uh, bureaucracy and uh, delays. And on top of that, the end result is that investments are not uh, licensed within uh, the annual plans of operators. So we need to sort that out. And there is an opportunity for the government to do good work there. There is a license, uh, uh, licensing law that is going to be debated uh, uh, in the near term. The next issue is taxation. Uh, we have a structural problem in Greece. The structural problem is that uh, against other European countries, we, are, uh, we have created a problem by direct taxation in telecommunications, and we stand out. We are about 20% north of what is happening in the average European country, and we need to remove that. Otherwise, we're non-competitive. So this is, has to be removed. And the third and final comment is that we need to become co-workers. Banks, the electricity board, the gas board, the water utilities, the car industry are reshaping and are becoming digital. And they all have to work together with the telecoms industry, with uh, new innovative industries that will develop the essence of what is called the fourth digital revolution. We need to be part of that, and we can be part of that. And this opportunity uh, can materialize in the next five years in a plan that uh, will all be constructive uh, in action and not in talk. And my last, the only advice I have 
uh, to finish with, uh, towards the government. You need to find a way with the quartet. 80% of your time is devoted to negotiating the next agreement. You need to reverse that. 80% of the time is needed to work within the country to create a collaborative uh, climate, a constructive climate of creating value, and 20% to uh, take loads through parliament and uh, to negotiate with the Troika. Thank you.